is that time of year again when I realize I have too many shoes considering I only have two feet. So here we go again with, I suppose it's now a thing, annual Doc Martin collection. Um, I've done two of these before. I used to be content with just like one or two pairs of Doc Martens and then I don't know, maybe I wasn't allowed to spend my money on travel anymore in 2020 and uh, yeah, I just explored Depop instead and ended up getting a lot of shoes. Even though I was well aware that I was going to be moving the country and I couldn't take them all. So yes, this is past Jen coming to you live from Australia. Uh, yeah, I actually leave tomorrow and I'm still not sure which Doc Martens I'm taking. It's like the biggest decision of my life. Um, I don't want to like get on the plane tomorrow and then be like, I should have brought the other ones. So I thought I would just immortalize my collection on the internet. Um, some of them may be leaving us, so I thought, I will have them forever on the internet. Now I normally do a Doc Martens collection slash styling Doc Martens, how I style each one in these videos, but honestly I have counted and there's way too many Docs now to be able to do this and not make it like an hour long video. So if you want to know any styling tips, I have a lot of Doc Martens videos, which I will put like a playlist in the whatever the thing is down there. Basically, I wanted to spend my last day in Australia surrounded by loved ones. So I have my dogs and also dog, my dog, Martin. <laughs> He's actually called Martin. So uh, yeah, if you see him pop up in the video, say hi. Uh, but I don't really think I'm gonna do this in order. So let's just pull up whatever is around me and we'll go from there. So first up, we got the Bethans, which are my first pick for going to New Zealand with me and these are my favorite Doc Martens. Now if you see that some of these don't have laces or all the like straps are loose it's because I just went and cleaned every single pair which was like the biggest mission. But um, yeah these are my go-to they would go with anything. I would basically if I had to just travel with one pair just have these because they go with everything that I can wear and style with. So. These are my faves. Hard to find. Um, I definitely had to buy them off Depop because you can't really find them on the internet. So most of the time you will find them secondhand, but they have been releasing them a lot this year. So you might be able to find them. Comfort wise, these are pretty comfy. I do put an extra inner sole on these, but they do get really heavy over the day, as you can see by the platform. And just for sizing with all these docks, they are all a UK 6. I'm about an eight and a half in shoes, so I have sized down because my feet are very narrow. Um, if you want any extra tips on sizing though, I do have a video all about everything you need to know about Doc Martens, but I will let you know if any of these are a different size. Next up, we have my ultimate thrift finds ever, which are these bad boys, the Doc Martens 1461 alts. Bexol. Um, basically they have these two buckles here and I am scared to wear them because I don't want to get them creased. Uh, I found them when I was thrifting in America. I did still pay like 60 bucks for them but they basically looked brand new and I love these. I want to take them with me but um, yeah I just don't want to get them too dirty and creased. They will stay in the collection here. Also comfort wise very comfy but also with all my docks that are mainly secondhand they're gonna be comfy already because someone's already broken them in. Here we have one of my faves, which I'm probably gonna say about every pair of shoes, but these are the Doc Martin. Um, I'm not actually sure on the color. I'm gonna say off-white. Um, they do have laces. I just haven't put them in after I've polished them. But um, yeah, I love these shoes. They're like my ultimate summer shoes. They go with practically everything. These are the second oldest pair of Doc Martens that I have. They are the Doc Martin 1460 Crazy Horse and they're looking particularly brown right now because I put polish on them. Maybe I'll insert a clip, but these bad boys really soak up polish and after you wear them a bit, they will go a very worn look, but yeah. For sizing, these actually end up being very loose. So I do recommend putting in an inner sole if you haven't already because they will stretch out. They're real soft leather, so after time, they kind of stretch out. 
And I also got these when I went traveling for the first time, like all around the world. And these were basically the only shoes I took. So they are pretty battered, like the soles are crazy. So yeah, they're still holding up pretty well after like five years. Now, if you just scroll in the comments instead of just watching my video right now, I would say uh, leave a comment and let me know your Doc Martens collection. I would love to know what you have, like the mix that you got going. Um, and also if you don't have any, put your wish list. Um, these ones were on my wish list for so long and I wasn't sure about buying them because I already have the Bethans, which are pretty similar as you can see, apart from like obviously that. Now I think I might take these to New Zealand despite the fact that my mom and my boyfriend were like, don't take these, you already got the Bethans. But um, I don't think I already said this, but they're the 1461 um, quads. Uh, they got the three holes here. You can get these, I think they're the 8053 um, that have the five holes, which are very, very popular on TikTok and Pinterest. But I decided to go on the three hole ones and these are basically just a cut down version of a Jaden. Now, I find they fit um, kind of wide, but I don't really wear an inner sole with them. They might be a bit wide on the opening here um, if you've got thin feet and your feet might slide out. So that's something to note. Yeah, I haven't really worn these much yet because I haven't really been anywhere. I've been stuck at home, but these are definitely on my styling wish list uh they're also very hard to find on the internet so if you're struggling just keep looking on depop that's what i did a lot of people are pricing them up a lot so people are charging like 350 maybe even more for these bad boys just because they're so hard to find which is so dumb but i found them for 180 you will find a lot of people who are just simply like, oh, I got them, but I just don't wear them anymore or they don't fit me right. So I'm going to sell them for a good price. And that's what happened with these. So I couldn't really say no, even though I knew I probably shouldn't get them. Now I'm trying to do this so fast. So next up we have the Chelsea Quads in white. Um, I love these. Still contemplating to put them in my bag or not because the quads are pretty heavy. Um, these are super easy to put on. You just slide your foot in and out and they kind of go with everything. They make me look like a rock star, I feel. Yeah, I did find these on Depop secondhand, which is nice. And I have a whole video on buying secondhand. Um, I think I got them for 150, which was not too bad. Also sizing wise, I don't wear an inner sole with these. I just wear as is. They are like, I got a bit of room in them, but Nothing too crazy, just wear some thicker socks and you're good to go. Here we have ones that I love so much and I just can't bring myself to wear them on the daily because they hurt. These are on my least favorite list, probably the least favorite of them all. These are the Doc Martin Clarissa Mono White. I found them in Japan at a thrift store and they are a UK 4 and like I said I'm a UK 6 why did I do it well I was in love when I saw them and I was like let's just put my foot in it and try make it work and I did the thing is with the sandals it is a good idea to kind of size down maybe one size because the sole of the shoe is the same as the boot but in a boot you're wearing socks and there's a whole lot of other things going on but with a sandal, you probably don't need as much room because you just need it to be fitting kind of snug and fitted. So that's why I recommend sizing down in the sandals, but maybe not two sizes. These do work. It's just my foot is like digging into the back and sometimes my toes go over the edge, which is not the right look I'm going for, but I can't bring myself to get rid of them. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to leave my parents with like 15 or 16 pairs of shoes. Now on the comfy scale, we got my comfiest pair of docks and on the comfy scale, basically most dock mums fit into it except the sandals for me. Um, but these are super comfy, maybe because they were already worn in when I got them. Um, yeah, they give me real schoolgirl vibes though. So if that's not your style or you can't pull that off, they are a bit hard to style. Um, but they are super easy to put on with the buckle. 
I would take them with me, but I can't bring myself to take them when I already got these bad boys. So I feel like I'm gonna be one of those parents that has like a child, whether girl or boy, who's just gonna be like, mom, I wanna dig into your awesome Dogman collection when I'm like 13 years old. And then you're gonna be like the coolest kid. Yes, I reckon that's gonna happen. But honestly, I'm probably only gonna have cats, so. I don't know how they're gonna wear them. Again, one of my earlier pairs, these are the Doc Martin 1461s. These ones were a bitch to wear in. The back of this heel is just not very forgiving. You get a lot of blisters in the 1461s, just FYI. But um, yeah, these have done me pretty well. Um, they have a couple of scuffs at the front, but honestly, looking pretty fresh. For sizing though, I do find that these are very small. These particular ones, these are the women's sizing. You can definitely get unisex or women's. Women's ones are more narrow, I find. So I did take out the inner sole in these to make them fit a bit better. But um, yeah, I know it's really hard, but I recommend trying on these shoes in store unless you have 15 pairs and you kind of know your size. So that's the deal with these, but I know the unisex ones can be quite large. I've had a pair of unisex black polished Doc Martens before and my foot was kind of like falling out the back. So yeah, there's different types y'all. It looks like I just have like a rug here. The award for most beautiful Doc Martens probably goes to these. It's just the coolest design and print on them and I want to keep it that way. I don't want to scuff them. I don't want to get them too dirty. So they are going in storage for now. Um, I know it's bad. These All these shoes should be worn and gone to a good home, but I honestly don't know what's going on with the world right now. I don't know when I'm going to be back next. So to be on the safe side, I'm going to keep them for now. Who knows, in a couple of years time, I'm probably gonna be broke and have to sell all these to keep my livelihood. But these ones are the Pascal type of Doc Martens. So they do fit a bit narrower than the normal like 1460s. Probably more the same shape as the Jadens. I found these on Depop as well. Pretty much story of my life. Now these ones again are stunning. Like look at the texture. Oh my goodness, I really want to take them with me, but I've already got like six pairs of shoes in my suitcase, so I don't know what future Jen has to say about this in the edit, but did I take these? I don't know. Um, these are the Dogman 1461, I believe, pythons. Um, they have this really cool texture on them. They're kind of like a muted kind of gunmetal black kind of color. Um, they are easier to go and style with most styles because you can grunge them up and you can kind of prep them up. So they are on one of my favorite lists. This is my tied favorite with the Bethans. Um, basically they are the Doc Martin Jadens in black and they look so fresh right now because I just cleaned them but they don't have the laces in but you know what they look like because they're a very popular shoe. So these actually give a few blisters when you start out, but only only gave me blisters for like a week. Although it did give me blisters on New Year's Eve this year. Fun times. I must have been dancing in a weird way. But um, these are my ultimate. I want them to be in my life for the rest of my life. I had to pick between these and the red ones, which are not here because they're in my suitcase. The red ones I think are going to be taken and not these. I don't know how that works because these are my favorite, but the red's just such a pretty color and I need some color in my suitcase. So yeah, I'll keep these maybe pristine here until I need them because I might be taking these ones and these ones are just so, they're like just the cut down version, you see? So yeah, these are my Jadens. You can basically find them on Depop pretty easily. Everybody's selling them. Next up is the Clarissa sandals with the quad sole. And these bad boys are probably one of the heaviest shoes I have and they are sandals. They are a bit of a workout to wear, but luckily the leather is super, super soft. It's called, I don't know what it's called. It's gonna go on the screen, but 
It's very soft leather, so it's not too bad if you have the fit right for the sandals. And for these ones, I do. These are a UK 5. So I did size down for these by one size, and they fit perfectly. So there we go. So these can be kind of weird to style. I like to wear them with socks most of the time, or sometimes without socks. Um, not everyone's cup of tea. They do look very chunky. Um, but I do have a styling video about how to style them somewhere here, so plug. Now here are my oldest pair that I have currently still in my collection. Did have some black Napa Docs, which were my first pair. They have been gone because they were a size too big, but here we got them. They look pretty good for my oldest pair. They're probably like nine years old, coming up to double digits. They have some scuffs on the front here. These were kind of tougher to break in because this leather is a bit tougher, but now that they're broken in, they're perfect. They are good for any scenario. Every time I look at a new pair of docks, I'm like, should I take these with me? But um, stop looking at me like that. These are such a classic color. Normally it would be like the 1460 red or the 1460 black it would be like one of the first ones that people get in their collection and they have been classic colors since like the beginning of time basically so yeah I love these um, I do wear like an inner sole in these like a orthotic inner sole actually um, that just fills them up a little bit more and gives me more arch support so yeah I do find that a bit wider because they are more of a unisex shoe in 2020 I decided to customize some shoes so I went for this yin yang design which is so cool like if this video gets enough likes, I will do the same thing to these. Like, I think these would look the ultimate with the yin gang. Or, Doc Martens, can we just, like, partner together, collab or something? Can you just work with me now? And we could make these. I do have a whole video on how I painted them, but basically just got black paint and just, like, woo on the sides here. These were an old pair that I found on Depop. Made in England, 1461s. What a steal, but honestly, <laughs> I had to sell some docks, so I've sold these ones and they're going in the post today, and you will be missed. I guess I figured I could probably recreate these again if I find any white pairs of docks, and this was like the prototype, so they're going to a happy home, and I'm just going to be sadly missing you. Now, as I said, I also have a pair of Duckman Jaden Vegan Jadens, and they are great. They kind of get creased easily and they probably won't last very long but I love them they're super comfy probably the most comfiest shoes also tied with the Mary Jane uh, pollies did I even say that these were pollies these are pollies and they're also comfy and I also have in my bag my 1461 brown Doc Martens which are basically like these but the cut down version they are so so comfy and I basically bought them off Depop and they were pretty much new so they're good to go from the box without <laughs> any blisters um, I'm taking those as my nice chill comfy walking shoe and yeah the only issue with these and those is that they scuff really really easily so you have to be careful but you can kind of rub it out and polish it and it should go back to normal so that is my full 2021 Doc Martin collection that is currently pending because I don't have them all in the future. Which is super sad because I love them all and I know how much you guys love the Doc Martin videos. Um, let me know if you have got this far by saying I love cats in the comments below. But yeah, let me know what you have, anything I should check out. Uh, I have been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. My Instagram is at in the wonder years. And until next time, keep saving money and don't spend your money on docs. And keep wondering. Hello, dog Martin. Hello, dog Martin. <laughs>